my name is Courtney Williams. Uh, I wrote and directed my film. The name of it is Indigo. And um, my favorite part about it was pretty much, uh, I just have a love for it. It's, it's fun. Shooting is fun. But that does become the most stressful part of your week, especially like the most challenging part for it was uh, getting everyone scheduled because I had a cast of about probably seven people in the get up, get all the people synced in a week and then have time to edit it. That was probably the most challenging part. And uh, what Indigo was about is pretty much, um, it almost has like a Dragon Ball Z type, type of concept. There's these five orbs. The one this one was Indigo, they're all different colors. And the, our protagonist played by Chris Harding, his name is Nate. He, uh, in the beginning, you see him fight someone for the orb. And uh, from there, someone tries to steal it back from him and it just becomes trouble for him and his crew over this um, Indigo orb. My least favorite part about this thing was um, the late the, the late night shoots. Um, whenever we shot late at night, um, everybody got tired, hungry, a little agitated. And so um, I almost had to kind of rush through the night shoot. And then um, of course, it's just, it's a, it's a, stress, it's a long week. It, it, it becomes a stressful week trying to put all this together. So you kind of have to, I feel like I had to like recollect myself after the film fest week. Hi, my name is Cody Dearman. I am the writer, producer, and star of a short film titled Lost in Thought for the Campus Movie Fest. I would have to say that my favorite part about working on this film would have to be, honestly, the writing of it. Um, I've never written a script so fast before, and it was a nice challenge to try to get myself in a better place to be able to write it. The basic premise for the film Lost in Thought is the main character, uh, his thoughts can be heard by everyone else around him, and he doesn't know why, and he isn't able to hear anyone else either. So his thoughts are just being broadcast out for everyone else to listen to, and it's about him trying to cope with this newfound ability. Um, I would say the most challenging aspect of filming this would um, be trying to get into character for it. Um, I had to think about what it would actually be like if someone could hear my thoughts and how honestly terrifying that would be for anyone involved. And I had to just put myself in that mindset of that character and that took a little bit more work than I thought it would, but it all worked out in the end. I will say that it was uh, a lot of fun to finally be able to do this. We've, I've, I've wanted to for a couple of years since I've been at UA and this is the first year I've been able to do it and it was one of the most fun shoots I've ever had since I've started here and I would definitely love to do it again. Hey, I'm Stephanie McNeil. My project was called Nature's Candy and I was the director, writer, and editor for it. And it's a stop motion animation with fruits and the characters, like one of the characters is a bachelorette going to a bachelorette party and it's at a strip club slash nightclub. So they meet the main attraction there and um, they go back to his condo and then they get into all this craziness. And I guess the main like difficulties about it was since it's animation, you have to match it up with the audio. So I did voiceovers and then shot it. So I'm trying to make that match up. And then of course, like trying to find the right software to use with it. Cause I went through like Final Cut, Adobe, iMovie, and then I finally used Smoothie, which is stop motion animation software. So that was the biggest challenge, definitely, in addition to trying to make it in like a week. Just actually seeing it happen, like when I came, first came up with the idea, I was like, oh my goodness, this is not going to even work. So then I started storyboarding it, and when we started filming it and going through and watching parts of it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is becoming real. Like seeing the transition from storyboard to like after I was finished editing, I was just shocked that this even was possible. So that was my favorite part. And then the, like all my friends being really supportive and helping me. Like a lot of my friends were the voiceovers or they helped me like move the fruit throughout the shooting process and were actors and they just helped me every step of the way. If you don't know about stop motion animation, basically you take a picture and you move the subject, take another picture and so on and so on. So it's and you have to do it by frames per second. So if you took like wanted to make it 30 seconds, you'd have to take 300 photos. So for this project, we took about 1,500 just to make it, and it ended up being about maybe four minutes, including some video, because some parts of it are video. So it's, it's a time-consuming process, but in the end, if you make 
as, as smooth as possible is just as good as a regular video.